In our first video, we talked about the legs initiating the swing, powering the swing by switching the heels. In our second video, we talked about using the sideways karate chop action to get the bat to the ball. In this video, we're gonna talk about the action of getting the, the barrel of the bat through the ball to really drive the ball into the field with as much power as possible. That action we call skip a rock. So without the bat in my hand, sideways karate chop, we get to contact. When skipping a rock, the palm is facing up. You've got the flat rock in the palm of the hand. We want to keep that palm up while snapping the wrist forward to keep that rock level skipping out over the water. Same thing when we're snapping the bat through contact. That palm is up. We snap the wrist forward. And here's the key piece. The arm and the hand stay in a straight line out towards the field. The common misconception in young batters and many coaches, coaches working with young kids is that the hands at contact work in a circle. But when we work in a circle, we're actually pulling away from the ball. We're taking our energy across the ball. We're losing power. But when a person skips a rock, they snap straight forward, snapping straight out towards the water in batting, we want to do the same thing. I'll have my palm open to illustrate this. At contact, that wrist is going to snap forward like we're skipping a rock and then allow the energy of the hand to pull the arm and the bat straight out through contact, keeping our energy in line with the path of the pitch and our energy behind the ball and really powering the ball out into the field. So legs, elbow to contact, and then it's a wrist snap, skipping a rock straight through contact. 